So to formally welcome everyone, formally welcome our delegates in this forum, allow me to call on stage the director of the Biodiversity Management Bureau of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, speaking on behalf of Secretary Roy A. Simatu, Director Crisanta Marlene Rodriguez. A round of applause. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, everyone. The Secretary would like to extend his um, apologies for not being able to deliver this message himself, as he is also in a very um, equally important uh, event in Manila. Uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Rex the Novelis of the Research and Extension, um, Dr. Jocelyn Salvador of the EAE, representing Secretary Manny Pedral, um, Director of the UPLP Museum of Natural History, Dr. Juan Carlos Gonzalez, uh, representing our former Secretary and the Chairman of Cropatibus Process Philippines Incorporated, um, National Scientist, Dr. Angel Alcala, um, Dr. Betty Afon. Um, I'm not sure if Dr. Mandita Lim is already here. Um, she's my former boss and now ACE Executive Director. Professor Graham Webb and Charlie Manolis, both of IUCN. Please allow me to deliver the Secretary's message. We are honored to co-host the second forum on crocodiles in the Philippines. And this is certainly a much awaited event considering that it has been 12 years since the first forum was held in early 2007. This three-day forum, organized by our Biodiversity Management Bureau and the Crocodilus Borossus Philippines Incorporated, or CBPI, with the University of the Philippines Los Barrios Museum of Natural History and the Department of Agriculture, is an affirmation of the continuous efforts of the Filipino people to conserve our biodiversity heritage. The DENR is fortunate to be part of a large circle of like-minded organizations and groups that live and breathe biodiversity <coughs> protection and conservation. The DENR, through the Biodiversity Management Bureau, with support from the Natural Resources Development Corporation, or NRDC, and DNR in Maroka region, manages the Palawan Wildlife Rescue and Conservation Center, formerly called Crocodile Farm Institute. The center which serves as the Center for Crocodile Conservation and Development is credited with the establishment of the crocodile leather industry in the Philippines and paved the way for the organization of CPPI. It is noteworthy that the two species of crocodiles in the Philippines, the endemic Philippine freshwater crocodile and the Indo-Pacific saltwater crocodile, are both considered critically endangered. And, the, and are thus priority species for conservation and monitoring by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Hope was, however, never lost because the CPPI, being a staunch partner of the DENR, crocodile farming efforts in the country, has garnered positive results. Our saltwater crocodile industry is creating a mark in the global market of crocodile leather and local market of meat. We now look forward to having comparable successes in the conservation of our Philippine freshwater crocodile, Crocodilus mendulensis. In this forum, we will be updated on the situation of the two species, Crocodilus porosus and Crocodilus mendulensis. We will highlight the country's efforts to conserve these two species of crocodiles. This forum will also serve as a venue for information and exchange on national and international developments on crocodile conservation and farming including the management of crocodile-human conflicts to promote coexistence and the sustainable use of crocodile resources. We are excited to learn from the success stories on crocodile conservation in Chargao, Palawan, Agusan, and Isabela, as well as from the experiences that will be shared by the 10 member states of the ASEAN on actual and potential human-crocodile conflicts and their handling. On this note, I urge all the participants to contribute their best to the success of this forum, which will enrich the discourse on the conservation of many other threatened species. Thank you, and isang makakalikasan kung nagasabi na. 